Yes, if you have a helper in these battles, they don't come with you past Leviathan. As come, I see those eyes, dead serious eyes directed at me never since then. Dost recall it that final night, the mad night, when we fought each other with all the power we had? Since that day, we have lived together, even fought a few times on a playing level. But not since then, not since that night have I spoken with thee with those eyes. Long has it been, Kohana Sakura. And this is appropriately dramatic. Again has come to strike me down. Very well. And thou wilt not become mine? And thou against point sword at me? Then I need not friends. Now ready thy sword. Cut me down as shed's blood, tears. As that night fiercely, madly, each shall whittle away the other's life, hero of the demon sword. And this music is just... Ah, love it. Also, this melody you may recognize from the castle music, although, of course, there it's not nearly so intense. start. Yeah, as be sure she has that chaotic effect on her attack speeds. So, yeah. We're not off to a good start. I was hoping I had a... Uh... Yeah, it was more ready for it, but perhaps not. This is one of the few times where normal guard rounds are an issue. Normally, it's just a special attack, so you have to worry about Here, they're almost a reprieve. Though, obviously not a gimme. You got the music doing kind of around. I think what's happening is I see the fast ones coming in and prioritize them even when they're not going to be the first one there. And you need to actually hit the chips in order they're there, not how scary they look, basically. Alright, let's get serious. Okay, here's a special. Maybe she heard me. Okay, this will be Sin of Gluttony, but this is an upgraded version of Sin of Gluttony. Basically the same cut-in, different thing here. We settle this now. Devouring one, bring her soul unto me. Harsh. Anyway, this has more and stranger effects on the chips. It comes from both sides. Yes, it does come for both sides. It has the leash effect, so it heals her. If the difficulty is high enough, hits will also drain Verna's energy gauge. But at least things are coming in at constant speed. There's no wild, super fast chips coming out of nowhere. There's no chaotic, this gets here before the thing started first. So honestly, it's kind of a reprieve, like I said. We're only up to Corona, uh, yeah, Corona Desperado. And already out that much health. So unless I get some improvement pretty quickly, this is not going to be a winnable battle. I thought I had that, but it's a little late. 
Yeah, chips coming from both sides is bad enough to begin with. You throw in that crazy speed, it just makes it so much worse. But at least the music's great. Okay, another Desperado will help. But Noelle's probably not even out of quarter of her health yet. I did notice that we at least healed after Leviathan. So if you came into Noelle with all the damage from the previous battles, especially if Leviathan went badly, that would be very problematic. Okay. That was better. Might be able to squeeze out another win. Let's hope. Special this will be Blaster, of course, because we just got to level 2. Messed up the timing a little, but still got pretty good damage there. Harpsichord. This conclusion on the music, of course the battle isn't over. And yes, Noelle can get in her attacks too, so... Yikes. Okay. I think I'm getting into the groove of this. It took long enough, but... Hopefully we'll be okay. There's another blaster. Which means damage, but not energy bar. Not quite fast enough that time. Yeah, the higher your difficulty gets, the more quickly those come. And when it gets pretty closely spaced like this, it gets hard to find the right balance between fast enough and not too fast. Ah. Hit the wrong button. Luckily, unlike in the previous game, that does not empty out your energy bar, because the energy bar is both... Uh, triggers your specials as well as powering up enter attacks. But it does reset the hit counter, which means the hit gauge, or the energy bar, will not go up quite as quickly now. And there's a mechanism in this game where the... as your combo count increases, the energy bar filling accelerates. Exactly how much and exactly what the limit of that is depends on the opponent. They'll have different numbers of hits needed per gain and different caps on what the gain is. Better hits will also increase the gain slightly faster than lesser hits, in addition to doing more damage. Okay, here's another special. It's Sin of Gluttony again. But yeah, here you have to watch for things fading out, changing directions. I don't think the same attack can do both. Or that the same hit can do both, but... You do need to keep on your toes a bit and pay close attention. Anyway, I think what I'm probably going to do with the video is put the approach and the crom fight in one, and maybe put Levy and Noel together, depending on how long exactly they turn out to be. I'm up to half an hour recording since the fighting started. So. Yeah, that almost seemed too tame to begin with. I get a little nervous when it seems to be behaving itself. Because it kind of gives you the feeling that something worse is waiting to fly in from nowhere. But so far, so good. Special attack. Which one? Okay, this is Blaster, so we won't be getting to level 3 just yet. Got the whole thing, though. 
Noelle's a bit under half health, so gun blazing will not finish her off, but it'll get fairly close. Definitely enough to put her into the orange. Uh, Dona Aes Requiem. Roughly grant them rest, often used in funeral services. There's a time for all things isn't used in Shakespeare's Comedy of Errors, but it's originally from Ecclesiastes. Also, behold, this is the hellfire of Belzebuth burning all to ashes! Yeah. This one is a lot worse than... Well... Yeah, worse than Sin of Gluttony. It can have those chaotic speeds like her normal attacks, although it tends to be not as bad in that sense overall, but... You have chips disappearing, you have chips appearing, and you still have things coming from both sides, and I'm pretty sure it also does more damage than her normal hits. So, uh, yeah. That is Noelle's strongest attack. And here we have a nice dramatic effect. The gate is opening. I think that might be based on number of rounds. But yes, it is a sense of urgency. Ah. This is not looking good. It's not hopeless, but it's going to be tight. Which this, of course, will take off 30% of her max, which puts her down to maybe 10% of her total. And like most opponents, uh, Noelle has changed expression now that she's in bow health, but... Unlike most of them, she's not looking pained. Okay. That may have been too much damage. We'll see. Yep. Anyway, this is what happens if you lose a battle. You get the option to quit the game, return to the title, load, or try again. If you pick Try Again, you get two options. You can not use Corona Survivor, which is you just restart the battle and fight normally. Or you can use Corona Survivor. If you use Corona Survivor, then the difficulty drops by 20 before you restart, which makes it that much easier, but also makes your final score that much lower. Uh, for now, I'm going to not use it. If I don't win on the next try, then I will use it. So here we go, one more try. Before wimping out. And like I said, you restart from all the way back here, have to fight through Krom and Leviathan all over again. Which can make this frustrating, and it definitely makes it time consuming. Sink into dusk. Okay, good. This is. Krom's other special attack, Darkness Mist. I'm not going to try to read that, but it's Genesis 1-4 in Latin. Here of the Dark. Dark. Darkness Mist. Some nice special effects here. This line from Matthew 27:46. Roughly, my god, my god, why have you forsaken me? And as I said, the color of the chips is completely gone. And their appearance is also obscured considerably. Uh, yeah, Genesis 1-4, anyway, is the... God saw that the light was the good, and he separated the light from the darkness. Probably chosen because of the reference to darkness, and in Latin, because Latin sounds creepy and ominous. Okay, and so we're back through Chrome, which takes us back to Levia. 
problem I really get the impression is supposed to be kind of a gimme battle here. I mean, she's not a pushover by any means, but compared to Leviathan and especially Noel, yeah, she's just not in the same league. Oh, I guess you can't skip it, it's the first time you've seen it. Part of the sea is under Channeling Moses. Yeah, same thing as, um, I think it was Thunder Discharge I'm thinking of, where if I mess up one thing, I'm thrown off for the rest of it. Go, go, catch it, fiery death. And that's not quite that off, but it's close. I could have sworn that would have finished her off, but not quite. So we quick burst. No sense in letting her getting another turn if I don't have to. And that's Leviathan down again. Now for the real challenge. Once this rather long intro is finished. It goes nicely with the music, but it does take a while. The actual battle starts just as the intensity picks up. Okay, let's try to do better this time. If I don't take too much damage early on, I'll probably be fine. But there's a lot that could go wrong in a prolonged battle. Especially with an opponent like Noelle at her strongest. With the chaotic attacks. So far, not too bad. Okay, we got through one round unscathed. Just need to do that about uh, two dozen more times. And deal with her special attacks. And not slip up all in the way. Uh, the biggest problem with these whole battles, although it is a nice epic ending to the game, is that's a lot of battle, one after another, no breathers, no checkpoints. You just have to keep fighting and fighting and fighting for... And it's already 20 minutes since I restarted from Krom, so yeah. It's a rather large time sink. I was saying this isn't so bad, but, uh, yeah, the invisible attacks are not helping at all. Maybe I just got lucky earlier? Yeah, and as you can see, it's also draining my energy bar. Yeah, the battle's already over. I'm not even trying at this point. Lose. Try again. It will let me try retry one more time without using Corona Survivor, but I already decided two tries. This is Corona Survivor. It's really not that dramatic. And we're starting over from Chrome again, but with minus 20 to the difficulty score out of 100. So that means we're probably in the 50s or 60s instead of the 70s or 80s. Of course, the game does not show you your actual score until the very end. 
So we'll see what it is there. Note that you do get plus one for beating Krom and uh, some amount for Leviathan, depending on how much health you have left. And I think it's always, yeah, it's always plus ten for beating Noel, regardless. Yeah, Leviathan with a helper is up to eight. Without a helper, it's up to thirteen. But yeah, I'll just get back through this and see you at Noel. Yeah, not only is this going considerably more s smoothly, it also feels like it's much easier to get reflex. So I'll have to check the code to make sure, but I get the impression that your target area for getting reflect is more lenient at lower difficulty. Okay, there we go. So this time, Leviathan barely scratched me, Krom did no damage at all, and both battles went by more quickly. One of the disadvantages you get at higher difficulty level is the damage you inflict is scaled down. Conversely, enemies' damage is scaled up. It's a percent multiplier, I forget the exact amounts, but I think when you get up to 100, you're doing something like 60% damage and taking 40% extra. Or maybe it was you're only inflicting 40% and taking 60% extra. Either way. The higher your difficulty is, the less damage you do, the more damage you take, the faster things go, the more hits enemies get in their attacks, the more special effects they get. But with 20 lower or so, probably more like 18, 19 lower, because I did better with Leviathan and probably got more points out of that. Anyway, this should be considerably less problematic. Of course, Noel, especially Exceed Noel, is never a gimme, never a pushover, but this should be much more manageable, so we'll see how it goes. And enjoy the music. And yes, you have this whole intro every time. And with the Kurlok font, I keep thinking that looks like Katona Zero. So that is similar to Noel's normal attack, except for the fade in, fade out effect. And I think it is also slower. So, in a way, it's maybe not quite as bad. That was bullshit. So basically I can't afford to get hit again at all. And I don't know that that's going to be good enough.
If the game's feeling nice, I might get a random special here. Nope. And she gets a special instead. Huh. That's being back to the fairly easy attack I remember, so... I think my last retry did well enough on Leviathan that I got past a breakpoint to make it worse. Yeah, because at higher difficulty, it gets the reverse effect where things start jumping around. Okay, this should do it. If Corona does it, yeah. If Corona Desperado doesn't finish her off, then another attack round after it with a second quick burst ought to. Deep breaths. I know, this looks good. And it is appropriate for this battle to come back, to come down to the wire, but... <sighs> yep, that's Noelle. She enjoyed that. She was... She's been looking for a serious fight with Corona for some time, and she got it. <sighs> okay, there's still an ending sequence to go through, but that is the end of the battles for now. I'll explain what I mean by that later, but... Until next time, this has been Hera Felon playing Magical Bringer Corona the movie, and... Come back for the ending, and another surprise. Hope to see you then.